I want to talk to you today about having an employee meeting. Now, how many of you have an employee meeting every week? Okay, I don't see any hands out there. So how many of you have an employee meeting every week, like every Saturday morning? Well, if you don't, you should do it. And I'm going to give you a few tips on what I always use that works really well. First off, I want them there an hour before opening. So if you open at 10, the meeting has to be at least at 9 o'clock, but probably better at, at 8.45 so you've got plenty of time. Also, make sure that you've got something to eat. You know, coffee and donuts is just fine, and it doesn't have to be fr fresh fruit or something. I'll just make it easy that you can pick up on your way into the store. Now, when you first get them together, I would go through and make sure that if anybody was new, that you're going to go through and introduce them to the crew, because not everybody works all hours of that, and you want to be able to tell them a little bit about them, so maybe you'll have them introduce each other. A fun thing that I like to do at the holidays is I, I have them introduce their name, how long they work for us, and then is it better to be naughty or nice, and why? Well, that's just great. It gets everybody to kind of, you know, think of it, and they all have a laugh, and then we get into the meeting, and maybe the first thing I'll do is I'll talk about sales, and I will say, here's how we're doing against goal, here's how we're doing for the month. Whatever you do, though, I'm not going to start off on a downer. So even if sales are down from last year, you have to find something that you can go by. Or if somebody had a really big sale, or if there was a really big special day that you had done, that's the kind of stuff I want to share at the beginning. The next segment I probably want to talk about is policies and procedures. So. If people are having trouble getting to work on time, I want to make sure everybody understands you're there 10 minutes before you begin and you're clocked in and ready to go. What the penalties are, those kind of things. But that's the, you know, we have a new way to process credit cards or we have uh, a new layaway procedure or something that you might be having a little bit of a difficulty to, but it's, it's kind of black and white stuff. It's not terribly se sexy or exciting. Um, the next thing I would probably go into is some kind of a product feature. So you probably have something that's in your store, something that you, when you bought it, was really special. Maybe you have pictures of it. You know, again, think differently. So even if you had the pictures on your computer of what's coming in this week, that might be a great way to just have everybody gather around and take a look at it. In the old days, all we had was like a, a VH, VCR that we had to try to pull in in a TV. Well, you don't have that with a laptop. So there's a lot of stuff you can bring to a meeting really quick and really easy. Maybe even it's a video on YouTube from your supplier that you could do. Just think about what you can provide for your crew that would make it interesting. The next thing I always go through is something about selling. Now, uh, maybe that's going to be a new way to greet people. Uh, my Five Parts for Successful Sale DVD series will take you through that entirely. But maybe it'll be one little thing they could do today or this week that's different than it has been. Because our goal for any gift store is how are we going to be remarkable. Now, remarkable means it could be good or bad, but my goal here is remarkable in a good way. How is somebody, when they walk out that door, going to say, wow, that was the greatest experience, and tell their friends? You can't manufacture it. You just have to be brilliant on those basics. And that comes from every week going through something else that they can learn. Now, the next part, I usually have them role play something. Have somebody role play something. A customer comes in, they have a return after the holidays, something is on sale. How are you going to deal with it? Because it's not important that you are, are doing this one thing with this one person. What's important is your crew sees how the process works. And then they have light bulbs go off on their own. And they can ask questions. And then um, I will typically uh, end up with recognition of some type. Somebody got a letter. I'm going to read the letter. Someone go, went through and um, had a big sale on what they did. Have them stand up and tell you about it. So it's not all you having to do it. And then the last thing I like to do for an employee meeting is to go through and give each, uh, give a couple people a task. So I will say, all right, you are in the store, this person has come in, I give them a little sheet of paper, and it says uh, a woman looking for a baby gift, let's say. And some other group I might say, it's a husband and wife for a birthday, or somebody else, just somebody looking. And I give it to them and I go, you got five minutes to give me the best ad on sale around. And then go. Well, they scurry around the store and they come up with all these different things and then they have to justify it. So they say, oh, well, the wife, she wanted this for herself, but then she looked over here and saw this for her daughter and then it led to this and this. The goal is they're always thinking about add-ons. There's no way they can do it wrong. Now, I know some of you are going, but, but Bob, we carry fragile things. Well, if they're employees of yours, I would trust that they know how to do it. And I have them bring it back to our circle where we have our meeting. By the way, circles are always better than me versus everybody else. Circle everybody sees. And then they have to explain it. And then the last step, and this is the most crucial thing, and that is that you're going to go through and go around that circle and say, give me one thing you learned today. One thing. Now, don't help them. 
So if I call on Christy, Christy, what's one thing that you learned today? And she's silent, you just wait. Why do I want to wait? Because once I start talking, I've given up the fact that she has to learn anything. And I had one uh, guy one time when I was doing this, and he said, uh, I didn't really learn anything. He was gone the next week. Now, he wasn't gone that day because I'm not going to cut my nose off to spite my face. But I said, he just told me he doesn't want to work here. So all of that to say is think about it. When you're going to have an employee meeting, you need to have them every week. Oh, and by the way, if you are seeing this right before uh, Thanksgiving, I always try to have a breakfast meeting the day of the day after Thanksgiving. So that Friday morning at 7 o'clock, I would always invite my crew out to breakfast, and then we would get a grain band game plan for that day, and we would go through and think of all the fun things we could do, and I would buy their breakfast. It always led to the highest sales for the whole month, well, that's six weeks before Christmas and uh, for the holidays. So think about how you can implement that, because what it does is it lets them belong to a crew, it makes them feel like you recognize them, and of course, food involved, that's everybody's friend.